What's going on, bro, chachos? It's your boy Tanner Wyman, a barbarian. By today, I'm going to be telling you guys why you don't have this right here. Why don't you have a six pack, no matter what you do? Today, I've got your answer. Let's get into it. So the answer for this one comes from this random Instagram follower that I got. This guy claimed to be a personal trainer, you know those bots that just tend to follow everybody. He posted a picture of himself and said, I've been trying everything in the books, every technique to get six pack abs, every exercise and every single workout, yet no matter what I do, I just can't get the abs to show. And it was a mere selfie, it was a great picture. It was 10 out of 10 lighting, the picture was phenomenal. Now, I looked at that picture and instantaneously I knew exactly why he didn't have abs. And actually it was kind of a shame that he was a personal trainer and didn't figure it out, okay? The reason he didn't get six pack abs was because he had way too much belly fat on his gut. He didn't, I couldn't believe he didn't understand this. So the main reason that this guy didn't get a six pack and the, probably the same reason that you don't have a six pack is because you focus too much on abdominal workouts. You spend too much time doing ab workouts. You don't need to. What's the best ab exercise? What's the best ab workout? Listen, personally, I train my abs directly once every two weeks. Your problem that you need to focus on now as opposed to which workout you're gonna do to target the abs is to lose the fat, simplistic as that. I want you to actually stop doing those ab workouts for right now and swap those ab workouts in with cardiovascular activity. Workouts are gonna burn fat and I always say you wanna be doing high intensity cardio because this burns the most amount of calories per minute it requires the least amount of time commitment and you're going to be burning calories for up to 48 hours afterwards. So your metabolism is actually gonna raise because your body's in a recovery phase. Either do those hit workout videos that I post on my channel like all the time, do sprint intervals on the treadmill because it's winter time right now, you probably can't get outside. Or try plyometrics, that's personally my favorite form of cardiovascular activity. By doing this stuff right here, you're going to be incinerating a ton of fat and thus getting yourself one step closer to finally removing all the fat that covers your abdominal muscle. Now, here's the big kahuna. Yes, you can do all these fat burning exercises, but if your nutrition is garbage, no matter what you do, you will never get to see these nice, beautiful six pack abs. You need to be eating better. I'm not just gonna give you that plain old tip. This is a tip, this is my main rule of thumb. I've put this in a bunch of videos and it is super effective. What you need to do for the next four days, don't change your diet whatsoever. I just want you to track everything you eat. Use my fitness pal, use a journal. I don't care, just ensure you track everything that you eat. What's gonna happen is at the end of the four days, you're gonna review everything you've been eating. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, you know, all these drinks that you're drinking and you're gonna go, am I an idiot? Of course I don't have apps. I can't believe I'm not fat. My diet is actually terrible because most people are under this false misconception that their diet is very, very good. I've personally been in this boat and when I've done this within like two to three days, I was like, damn, there is so much here that I could change. As soon as you see this, you're gonna instantly start having great ideas about many substitutions that you can make for all the poor food choices that you're intaking throughout the week. Now, after you've done this for about three to four weeks, you're gonna notice you've probably lost a significant amount of belly fat. And if you get to the point where you're at about 13 to 12% body fat percentage, that's when you can go ahead and start implementing your direct core targeting workouts again. Doing two of these core workouts per week, and what I recommend is use a wide variety of exercises. Increase your arsenal of abdominal exercises. Personal favorites of mine include the ab rollouts. This one is so great for really stretching the abdominal muscles out as you're rolling out the wheel, and then really demanding a lot as you're stabilizing yourself and bringing the wheel back in. Throw in exercises like Russian twists, but you'll notice how I'm performing these right here as well. I'm not just swinging my arms over like I'm rowing a boat here. What I'm doing is I'm focusing on getting trunk rotation. This is what allows you to get the most amount of activation out of the core, and uh, you don't wind up injuring yourself from trying to row with a 45 pound plate. Throwing these exercises in, doing a bunch of variety, using weights, doing all kinds of different exercises to stimulate the core, doing it twice per week, 15 minutes per workout, this will allow you to finally get your six pack abs. But I need to reiterate, you need to get your body fat percentage low enough. Simply follow the steps I mentioned before and you will be great. There you guys go. The simplistic reason as to why you don't have six pack abs, how to get there, and then when you can finally re-implement all of your favorite abdominal exercises and then some of mine as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, then be sure to give your boy a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.